So this is going to be ribbon splicing with the FSM 60R12. Here we have our hot jacket stripper, which will strip the adhesive and turn the ribbon fiber into 12 individual strands of bare fiber. CT30 cleaver, which we will use with the fiber holders to cleave the fiber. And we'll begin by setting our ribbon fiber in the fiber holder. We want to leave about an inch and a half hanging off the end. And we have our HJS02 hot jacket stripper, which is powered off of the splicer with the DC11 cord. And all we're going to be doing here is inserting our fiber holder into the slot. You can see here, this is actually the heating mechanism which will heat that coating and strip it off. We'll shut the lid. And when this light turns green, we're going to press down on both sides and pull it apart. Here you'll see we have the leftover coating that was stripped off. And now we have 12 individual fibers. Now we'll have to clean these with alcohol just to get any excess coating off of there. And you'll see how the fibers are a little stuck together, so we're going to need to just kind of give it a little flicking action here. Maybe wipe it one more time with the dry area of the wipe. Just to make sure all these fibers separate and none of them are stuck together. At this point, we'll transfer our fiber holder directly into the cleaver. And you'll use this basically in the same way you would with a single, single fiber. Take the fiber holder directly out of the cleaver, and we'll place it right in onto the fiber holder prongs. You'll see there's actually 12 individual V grooves, which will actually fan your fibers out and get them placed correctly. Now we'll do the same process with our other side. And obviously if you were doing this in a real world situation, you would want to put your, your ribbon splice sleeve over your fiber before we cleaved or spliced or any of that. So we'll insert it here into the hot jacket stripper just like last time. Wait for the ready light to turn green. Strip that coating off. And we'll cleave it just like last time. And we will place this fiber holder on the other side. And now it's as simple as shutting the lid. And we'll hit the set button. And once the splice is complete, you will see your loss estimation for each individual fiber, numbered 1 through 12. And at this point, so we'll put our... With the fiber holder still in, just so we don't break the fiber, you'll want to unclamp the fiber on both sides. Slide the fiber holder into place, and we'll set it here in the heat shrink oven. And heat shrink oven should start automatically, and when it's done, it'll give you one long beep, and your splice is complete.